everyone. This movie is about our journey for this summer. So just to give you guys an overview about our research, we are studying on hydraulic capacity of epiphytes, which are plants that live on other plants. So the epiphyte species that we are working on are Clusiae, Cavendishia, Capitulata, Cephalera, Oreopanix, Psychosia, Neo Miranda, Cosmibuena, Lily, Ericat. So if we mention these names in the movie, please remember that we are talking about our epiphyte species. Thank you. Enjoy the movie. Guys, our viewers need to understand what we actually did this summer. Mackenzie, Andrew, Lex, Min, and I are doing research in the tropical montane cloud forest to try and understand how epiphytes, like these little guys, might respond to projected changes in climate, such as warming and an increase in cloud base heights. Either of these projections would result in less contact between the epiphytes and the clouds, and we're working to understand which members of the epiphyte community are more vulnerable to climate change and which are more resistant. These epiphytes also have closely related species that live terrestrially. So by comparing the physiology of these species pairs, we're also working to understand physiological adaptations to the epiphytic life form. So this is black line so that we can secure the box. This is random work gear. <laughs> this is a redirect lanyard. This is my belay device to get down. This is some throw line, so if I need to throw another one. And this red one back here, my rescue bag. And then this is just random little gear. So time is by putting these Jumars on the rope and I have little teeth in them. And so you can move them up if there's no weight on the Jumar, like this. But once there's weight on it, it holds. It doesn't slide down. Here's some sappho sensors. 
and then the little hobo station over here. And behind me is the weather station. Yeah. This has been running for about four days or so. And we're going to see how it's working. Oh no. Okay, okay. On clear days, we work up in the trees installing or maintaining transpiration stations. But on rainy days like today, we suffer in the lab. We are in lab working on a couple of different lab techniques. Sybil and Lex have been working on a technique to measure the capacity for foliar fog uptake. Basically, we are trying to figure out which of our study species can directly rehydrate by taking water from the leaves. We are doing this by rehydrating the leaves overnight. We cut in the field yesterday in the afternoon, and then we put them, we cut them underwater, and now we have them in the darkness so that they don't transpire and they'll rehydrate. Then we dehydrate them to a specific water potential. <laughs> Then, we soak them underwater for an hour and see how much they were able to reabsorb in that time. Andrew, Min, and I are working on measuring functional traits for our target species, such as wood density, which we expect to vary across functional groups of epiphytes. Andrew and Min love this job! <laughs> Min is chasing leaves, while Andrew is cutting the leaves out. <laughs> Back at FCAM, we will use these cutouts to determine the leaf area of each of our samples. And, even though we've worked really hard this summer, we've also had a lot of fun. And we go.